Hi, this is Trevor Conkergood. Welcome to this week's RNK Software Club's video for the week. And our topic for this week is about how to fit text to match a shape. And so if you're ready to get started, let's go ahead and bring my workspace nice and big. And notice that I have um, a banner on the screen. And if you want to like have text that could fit in the banner, maybe change the names uh, quickly and easily, what you want to do is use the text tool that's called text on a path. And so when I click on text on a path, um, it gives me a text cursor and I can click to sort of start the text. And it opens up a little box that allows me to choose my baseline. And so go ahead and try and find a baseline that looks similar to the one that you want for this little banner. And so you can maybe find an arch like path number 14, and I'll select that. So it puts the words my text on the arch. And um, the arch is, you know, pretty close to the shape that I want. But um, if I want to make it perfect so that it matches exactly, what I can do is I can right click and choose to edit the baseline. And now I'm able to make changes to the baseline. I can put these points anywhere that I want to. And when I'm done editing them, I would right click the baseline to update the text to it. And so um, from kind of the beginning, if I just click on my select tool, if you have your text selected, you would first right click to go into the edit text mode. Now, when you're in the edit text mode, you can see the baseline, but if you wanna change the baseline, you right click again, and now you ask to edit the baseline. And so now you're editing your baseline and you can move the points to be kind of wherever you want them to be. And so what I sometimes will sometimes do is try to move them uh, so that they kind of match the shape. And notice that um, each point has sort of lines that you use to create the curvature. And when I made it smaller, they're kind of long as the problem. I just need to sort of play with these lines a little bit to maybe bring them not quite so far away from the point. Um, and here I can right click and say, make this one be symmetrical. You know, and that way it gets an e equal amount on either side. And essentially, um, I can kind of fuss over this line until I get it so that I feel like it's really equal on both sides. And then I can right click. And remember, you have to right click to fit your text onto the path. Now that I've fit my text onto the path, um, even if I click on my select tool, it will always stay there. You know, and if at any point in time you want to change it, you can right click to go back into your edit text mode. Uh, but what I really need to do now is change the size of the text, right? Because it's currently at, you know, 20 millimeters tall. If I make it uh, smaller, so let's change it to 15, it'll help it to fit within the box, you know, space. And now you can, now that your text box fits your shape exactly, you can come in and type in any word that you want, and it will fit within your sort of space like that. And so um, that is how you can create a custom baseline uh, that will stay with your design. And that way, if you come back to this banner at a later time, and uh, you know now you need to make it for other names, you can just type them in and it will update and it will perfectly fit within your banner. So I hope you enjoyed this week's RNK Software Club's video for the week. Until next week, have a great day and bye for now.